You're watching by PBL's GabFest. Guest opinions do not reflect the opinions of the show's sponsors. Video and audio quality is determined by the individual partaking in the program. We apologize in advance for any enlightened views of the industry or hurt feelings. Hey guys, it's Eric Prum from Style Supply, UTB, and I'm uh, really happy to be here with GabFest, this uh, edition of GabFest. We've got two of the newest UTB athletes, and we wanted to kind of uh, you know, let the viewers know what we were all about uh, with a quick interview. We're going to just talk about the sport. So, guys, uh, this is uh, Tim Montressor and Ryan Moorhead, and uh, maybe we could just go go back and forth and say what, what your first impressions of uh, this weekend were out here in Thailand. Honestly, for me, uh, the first time I played paintball when I was 12 years old, I got that giddy feeling. I feel like I'm glad I got involved in this. If I would have missed this, I would have felt like I missed out on something big, and that's how I got the first time I played this. I still love playing paintball, but this is something that's going to take up a lot of my time. The, the weekend as a whole was awesome, just coming to Bangkok, especially to come here with so many cool guys, Damon, you know, yourself, uh, other Eric and Leaf and Jerry. I mean, it was just an overall amazing weekend to come to a culture that's so different. I mean, we've been through Europe, Australia, but coming to Bangkok was just an experience all in itself. And especially to come here and play in this amazing stadium and play this format, it was cool. What sort of uh, elements of other sports would you say that you saw out here uh, that you could apply to the sport and that, that you're going to bring to the sport, I guess? There's almost every sport here. Uh, I think the biggest ones would be rugby because you have the scrums. And they get pretty physical down there. And not only are they physical body on body, but you have the stun guns in there. So it gets pretty intense. And then you have the same elements of basketball where you're trying to control the ball, bring it upfield. I mean, you almost have every other sport involved. Yeah, I mean, you got soccer, rugby basketball it's just so fast paced especially with a field this size four on four and no goalie all the points go so fast and you have one turnover I mean it's really hard to say that there's anything like this where there's so much action back and forth but I mean that's kind of the intrigue of it I'd say guys like Damian Ryan were, were really stood out this weekend as far as uh, his ability to just in the third period just kill it I mean it's 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 intense yeah it's definitely his cardio that helped him out the most and you add that to his soccer background he had uh, the concepts of playing defense good, and he has good lateral speed. So you combine that natural athleticism with just freakishly good stamina, and he's perfect for the sport. Yeah, right on. So I guess the next event's probably going to be in Huntington Beach. What are, you guys, uh, what are you guys looking forward to most at Huntington Beach? You guys looking forward to, you know, we've got some time to develop and practice as, as teams. Do you think that'll be, be good for you guys? Yeah, just the opportunity to continue to evolve in the game and understand the rules and working on more plays. I mean, you could look at the difference of our gameplay um, from the first event in which it was in San Diego to yesterday to today. It just you're starting to develop that team cohesion and it makes the points a lot more fluid. The more and more we do it, the more commonplace it's going to become. The thing I'm probably looking forward to most is introducing this sport more to the Americans. I think the teaser video you guys had was perfect and you introduced it to two million people, but it was such a short little tease. Uh, and then having the opportunity to come out to Bangkok, we brought it to Asia, but now we have a chance to bring it back to where we're from and I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that myself. I, I just think it's going to be a, a great experience out there. We've got a lot of media coming out. It's going to be good for uh, those of you out there in paintball land that loves paintball. There's going to be a lot of great media for paintball, a lot of great media uh, for UTV. We're bringing in you know, a lot of mainstream companies you know, like you know, ABC, ESPN. Uh, we've got you know, guys from Maxim coming out, which is going to be, I think, a good thing for everybody. I guess a few other things that we'd want to talk about. I'm just trying to think of... Uh, you know, I guess as far as the sport, we had a lot of questions about like the ball, uh, the stun guns themselves. Um, maybe for a quick second, you could we could uh, here hold this real quick. I'm grab the ball here. Maybe uh, maybe you want to talk a little bit about the ball and how how you saw it being used this weekend and what was kind of cool about it. Um, from my understanding, you guys tested a few different sizes of balls, so I can't attest to the other sizes and what was good or bad about them. But I thought this one was almost perfect. I mean, it was bulky enough that it was awkward enough to carry so people could catch up to you, and the defense had a chance. You couldn't just run end-to-end -end without being at least at least someone trying to stop you. I mean, right. and this, it, but it's still small enough where you can control it, pass it. You, it's big enough where you can run into people and plop people yeah, over. People it has a lot rocked. of good arms. Did you yeah. see it? There's a couple of dudes that end up in the boards, yeah. you know, which is part of the reason we play in the UTB stadium like this. Having, having the boards like this is really cool, I think. It adds a different element that you don't see in a lot of sports. Yeah, the, the size of the ball is, is perfect, though, because what it does is it still opens you up to be aggressive, but still allows the defender to catch up to you and really get in and, 
yeah. and give you a shot because if the ball is any smaller you can almost hide it and you can juke a lot easier but it's just, like Ryan was saying it's that perfect level of awkwardness right. um, but still being ideal to be aggressive with yeah. and I think it's important to note too the ball's not super heavy but when it has momentum I mean it takes a toll on your shoulders your elbows I mean it's it's physical well, if, I wanted to also answer a lot of questions people have about like the future of the sport. Uh, a lot of the reason we're out here in, in Thailand is we got a lot of press out here to actually come see the gameplay, which I thought you guys did a really good job at showing everybody, you know, what was up. And then, you know, the reason we're coming out to Huntington Beach is it's, it's going to be a really good venue for all of us to showcase what we've been developing over the past year and a half or so, or a year, more like a, like a year. Um, but I think. I, would you guys agree that there's 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 probably a mainstream sort of future for this sport, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just the, the volume of hits off of the YouTube, a, a two and a half minute clip. I mean, you have well over a million views already in just a couple of weeks. And you come up here and you have so much media and you have all these spectators that walk by and want to see it. I mean, the appeal and intrigue of the game is, is amazing. So I think the future for the sport is is really, it, it's hard to fathom at this moment. When you go to an event like, like Huntington Beach and you have tens of thousands daily walking by on top of the media. I mean, the opportunity for growth of the game is really is enormous. Yeah, it's not like every other sport where they right. could just be a breeze in the wind. I think there's always going to be an outlet where people want to watch people stunning each other and getting hurt and putting it all out there on the line to put on a show. And yeah. that's what we're here to do. We're here yeah. to compete and put on a show. Yeah. I mean, it's a competitive sport. You guys had fun playing. You guys have a good time with it. It's, it's definitely taking, taking a toll on our guys. They need to, people need to be training cardio. I mean, like... That's that's sort of the biggest thing here is to keep up, you know, to, to play those offensive and defensive sets, you, you really need to be good to go. But yeah, I think okay. oh, I think the thing that a lot of our players noted is uh, Tim does cross training all the time and Thomas is out there doing the same thing and you think you have your cardio good enough, but once your adrenaline's pumping for that long, it, yeah. it's not natural for a body and that's what's hiring people out more than you'd expect. Yeah. So I guess in closing, what we want to say is for the future of this sport, we think we've got a competitive sport that's fun to play, it's fun to watch, to, you know, a little bit of danger and intrigue. We obviously don't re recommend anyone play it at home. Uh, these guys are professional athletes, and, and we just think there's, there's a place for it in the media landscape. So looking forward to uh, being in a home near you, both on GabFest, off of GabFest, on the TV maybe. Um, and I guess we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, appreciate you guys having us on. See you in Huntington Beach. Later guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned to your next Gab Fest. Peace.